Greetings and salutations YouTube is here and here. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting. We're going to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. Today is a special episode because I'm going to be thrifting with one of you guys, one of the thrift squads. So I'm very excited. Um, she's going to meet me inside, so we'll see her in a bit. But don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more thrifting videos, haul videos, hammer grabs, and vlogs. And don't forget to add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, we're going to head into the store. This is one of my favorite ones, and I cannot wait to see what they have today. All right, you guys, so still waiting on her. She just got off the freeway, but check out this bag that I found. Pour La Victoire, very cute. This needs a little bit of a cleaning. And then this other one, I'm not too sure what the brand is, Le Solim, uh, made in Italy. So I'm gonna look it up and see what it's about. But that's pretty cute, right? Nice leather. Check out this fake Fendi. <laughs> okay. Ooh, coach. Oh, it's like falling apart though, unfortunately. Uh, let's see what other little goodies are here. Christian Siriano. There's a bunch of Target bags. I almost thought that was like a Kipling backpack. Okay, I think that is it for the handbags. I'm gonna go grab a cart. Oh my gosh, I just see her right now. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> hey okay, guys, so I'm here with Nika. Hi. And we are gonna go thrifting today. We are so excited. This is our first time thrifting together, and I'm just like, finally. Yes, we've we have been. This we've been trying long. to do this for like ever. <laughs> since like how long ago was it? When October. We, oh wait, no, since September. last year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long. It's time. been forever. So we're gonna head to like look around the shop. This is our first time here, so I'm super excited to take her into one of my favorite stores. So let's go. All right, you guys. So I'm looking at the vases to see if I can find anything cool. The vases didn't really have anything too exciting, so I'm just taking a look through the carts. Oh my gosh, I actually have that thing. All right, you guys. So they have like bins full of, oh my gosh. Is that a lunch pail? Bins full of lunch pails. Um, like wallets and stuff. So, oh, Elizabeth and James. This bag looks familiar. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that in the cart. This looks like a hobo, maybe. Because I think I've thrifted one of these before in the past. Oh, it is a hobo. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Price? Is it in the zipper? Let's see. This is such a cute bag, you guys. Oh, there it is. $7.99. Sold. I love the color. Green. Okay. We are like... Where's Nika? <laughs> She's like gonna go nuts. Why is she not here with me? She's like, oh, she ran off to look at something else. But, um... She's gonna be so mad when I show her all this cool stuff. What is this? It's so heavy. How does this thing? Oh, that is a cool opening. 30 bucks? 13 bucks. Oh, they still have those large candle things that are honestly kind of cool. What did you find? Okay, I found this like bag. Ooh. Like it, it almost looks designer to me because I like the the handle, but it's a nothing brand. It's Is it leather? China, made in China, so synthetic. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna take it because I mean it's 20 bucks and I'd rather like get a $20 Louis Vuitton or something. Yeah. Um, and then I found this sweater. That's really that cute. Reminds me of Free People. It's very Free People. It looks like it's from like from Anthropology. Yes. Oh. Very Anthropology-esque, okay. yes. Yeah, that's all I found so far. I found a wallet. Check what? it out. A hobo wallet. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, who's this by? Hobo. Oh, wait, is this a clutch? Yeah. How does this work? There's a kiss lock on the top. Oh, whoa, it's magic. That's cool. Yeah, those wallets are like 100, like 100 something from Dude, like Nordstrom. Some money in here too. <laughs> nice. Comes with free money. Like the color. Yeah. What else did you find? What is this shark thing? Oh, it's like a blanket for kids. Oh, like, <laughs> cute. I'm, I've been trying to collect one for each of the children, Aww. my nephews. So that's that pretty much it. So cute, oh, thank you. 
So I'm going through and looking at the plates really quick. Oh my gosh, what does the fox say? Oh, the fox's nose is broken. He's saying he's sad. See what we have today in the mugs. It's kind of pretty. You guys remember those flower platters I got here recently? I found these two. These are from the same brand. And these are like a lily pad. They're kind of cute. And there's two of them. I think I'm gonna get them. They're $2.99 each. And they're originally $16 each, looks like it says on there on the sticker. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this vase is gorgeous. I think that's $6. Pretty hearth in hand. Let's oh, actually look at the furniture pieces. Oh, look at these chairs. How cool are these? Oh, they have one of these. Uh, last time I saw one of these, they marked them pretty aggressively. I think they were like around $40. These things are so cool. There's no price on top. Is the price inside? Okay, looks like they priced it at 20 which honestly isn't too bad. Um, that's a maybe. We'll see if we can find anything else. I had to take a second and show you these guys. They're so cute. Look at them. I don't know what they are, but I love them. There's like a little family. I'm gonna bring them around with me because they're cute. Look at that. Oh, but take a look at this. Hearth and hand. $14.99. This is like legit really cute. You can put a plant in here. Use this for umbrellas. Toys. This is cool. There's like a pie rack. Um, these are $9.99 for the lanterns. Where's Nika? <laughs> we like a lot. We keep losing each other. We're just like wandering off. <laughs> Any cool backpack? Why does that look so cute? I don't even know what Hey Dougie is, but I like it. Oh, this is that game that Eliza and I like, but this is like a cool, like... This one's like way cool. How much is this? $3.99? It's like a much nicer version of the one that I got, like especially for like Eliza. Maybe I'll send the other one to the Philippines and then let them use this one, because I feel like the, this is like a lot easier. I'm gonna fill up my bucket. I left my cart somewhere. Remember that pie face game? That used to be really, really popular. So I found this beautiful blue and white vase. It's actually Rosenthal, which is an amazing like ceramic company. I really like the design on here. There's like a bird, like a peacock, I think. I wanna hold on to this. You guys, look how cute I found a Tory Burch cardigan. Unfortunately, it's missing every single one of its buttons. Sad. Nika, how does it look? Oh, it's cute. So we're looking at the clothing. I found a Lula Row piece. Look at that cool print. And this J. Crew dress, which is actually really pretty. I like the pattern on it. It's like Givenchy esque. Okay, guys, we are at Bear now. We're making a stop over here I'm with Nika still. She's super excited, as I am as well. Can't even talk anymore. That's how excited I am. What, what are we channeling right now? Are we, what We're are we going to look for? We're channeling Chanel. Chanel, <laughs> Ernest, Balenciaga. Honestly, anything. <laughs> Let's go. Let me get excited. Like, seriously, why can't I be like Hadrian? No. Oh my gosh. Anyone can find stuff at their store. You just have to look. It's always you. No. <laughs> On the prowl right now looking for is the handbag. What is this? Like Forever 21? T 
see a Neo or a Tommy Hilfiger. Look how cute this skirt is. Sometimes I like to look at the mannequins. A lot of times they put the really cute clothes on the mannequins as well. So you guys gotta like check them out. This jacket is so cute. Let's see what we have. Donna Buckman, fake Prada. You see anything yet? I found a fake. Ooh, a fake Gucci. She cute. <laughs> and then, okay, look at this. I, I don't like the design. Oh, Betsy Johnson. Oh, this is. Ooh. It, like, this is vintage because nice? this is leather, right? It feels like like legit leather. Like, I just don't like that part, but. You can take that off. Yeah. It's cute. This is so cool. I like it. You should get it. What is this? Why does this look like a coach bag? Oh, it's not a coach bag. Nika. Yeah. Like of course? For selling? For, for you? Oh, I don't know. I'm not you don't a like huge Michael Kors? Fan of Michael Kors. But what do you think about it though? Time I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we got some fossil right here. Love these studs, they're super fun. We have the Michael Kors and then we have right here the vintage coach. I'm um, not too sure about it because it does have a lot of wear. But it's $13 and it's made in USA, so I don't know, it's kind of cool. It has like that more like a vintage worn in, but it has a lot of like markings all around it. And with a bag, I know that's just old, it's gonna hold on to these stains a lot more than a newer bag. Oh, they still have that Kate Spade thing, which I think I'm gonna buy because that is so cute and I'm happy it's still here. This house wears at 25% off today. Okay guys, I was just in the home goods section and I found these like raw iron key and lock. It doesn't actually work, but you can hang this and that would be super cute. I like these. They're 6 dollars you can just set them on top of like a stack of books or something. That's like really cute, but I don't know, $6.99. Okay, why do I like this ginger jar? I wish it had the lid on it still. Cause that is a really cute one. Like that. There's a haunted doll and a haunted clown. So let's not linger on those. Let's see what we have over here. A steamer, a little light, salt lamp. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. Made for Royal Sphinx by Bog, <laughs> Bog Holland. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But, um, oh, okay, let's, um, let us not forget that. <laughs> you know what I really want to find one day is a Liadro statue. My mom used to collect them back in the day and she still has them. But, um, oh, this is a nice piece of luggage. Look at that. That is cool, it's a Samsonite piece. It's really fun. That is that is a haunted plate. This is really cool though. I really like this triangular thing. Dreffers, I think is that it? Dor Dorfer? I'm gonna look that up and see what it says. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but it's really cool. I'm just sh like running through the shoes really quick. See if there's anything cool. Boots. Um, what does that say? Jack Irwin, made in Spain. Any relation to Steve Irwin? I wanna look that up. All right, you guys, I found the Jack Irwin Joe Capito Oxford shoes. There you go. 195, currently still on sale at Nordstrom. 15 bucks here. Let's see what size these are. Oh, size nine. Guys, I just found these Allen Edmond shoes and they're like my favorite because they look like like old man shoes, you know? Like like grandpa would wear these. And like I'm living like my grandpa fantasy with these shoes right now with these. Oh my gosh. My foot's a little fat though. I'm gonna look a little fat in these. Sad.
a little too big for me, so that's probably why they're like popping out on the sides. Or my foot is just a little too fat, but Let's see what else you can find here. I like those um those other shoes that I showed you right before these, those black ones. But I don't know, I have like a weird version to black shoes. <laughs> I love your new bags. <laughs> If only this was real. At least it's a step up. It's like, it's I almost there, it. right? Except like it's hella broken. Oh, <laughs> so sad. You know. But I wonder. I didn't even know they sold fake versions of these. Those clown shoes are so cool. You guys, these clown shoes are completely epic. They're fifty dollars though. But I love them. I just like want to use them to like decorate. Like, how amazing are these? Like, who has these in their house? 50 bucks. Oh, clown shoes. Professional clown shoes, 184. That's like pretty close. There's those. Crazy. All right, you guys. Okay. What did you find, Nika? So I really want to contribute to it's Hadrian's Du Pop. So <laughs> you're I found so cute. This cute. Coach. Ooh, it's like a little. Bag. Wow, that's yeah. cute. Shikuto, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, oh, another coach. Another coach. Here, there. There's a lot of coach here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coach. Coach. Yeah. And then this is another coach. Michael Kors. Oh, that's really cute. It's very actually nice inside too. Yeah. It's like kind of new. The only thing is this. I'm pretty sure it came with. It's gonna be. I'm missing the crossbody strap, but you but always add another one. Cute. That one's cute. There. I think that was my favorite. Cute. Yeah. So yeah. Oh. And then this is for me. It's just a little Betsy Johnson. Oh, she's adorable. We love her. We love her. She's easy. I like the color. I really don't like the interior, but <laughs> we just won't open her. <laughs> They have like Clarks, they have some Michael Kors, Sam Edelman, all sorts of goodies. Look at those boots. Look at these Ferragamo shoes. Nine and a half. Guys, check it out. There's some coach shoes right here. Then we got some Stuart Weissmans right over there. We have a Bach and Soul Society and Taylor Loft. More book. I love their shoe selection here. They always have pretty good shoes. There's some Sam Edelman's right there. Perfect for summer. We have those little Cole Huns. So much great stuff, you guys. It's down here. We've got some Badgley Mishkas, Naturalizer, all sorts of fun, fun little goodies. Alright you guys, so we are back at the house and oh my gosh, filming with Nika was so much fun. Nika, if you're watching this, I love you so much and I had a blast. We definitely have to go shopping again very soon. Um, I wish I was able to film more when I was with you, but I like honestly, it was just so much fun thrifting with you. And I, I met Nika once at a Goodwill event. And after that, we just kept in touch. We were like, we have to go thrifting, we have to go thrifting, we have to go thrifting. And that was like back in, I think it was in September. So uh, fast forward to now, which is like months later, September, October, November, December, January four months. We finally made it happen. It was so much fun. And Nika, you are a joy. You are a treasure. And I love you so much. So I'm going to have Nika's information linked down below. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She's also on Instagram. Her style is impeccable. She finds amazing like thrifted clothing pieces and puts them together. And she literally looks like a million bucks. And she is so much fun. So you guys have to check her out. Um, she's also going to have a video up as well. And when that video goes up, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Um, I think she, she like, my videos, I, I put them up, like, really quick. I think she, like, she edits uh, beautifully, first of all. Um, she, I, Nika, you have to teach me some of your editing skills. So she, um, I don't know when her video goes, is going to go up, but it's going to go up probably within the next few weeks. Um, and you're probably going to see this uh, within a week of when I filmed it. So um, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I ended up getting because I got some pretty good stuff with Nika. Nika, you are a good luck charm because we found some amazing stuff. Um, let me start off with this. 
Um, this is a gorgeous Pour La Victoire uh, hobo shoulder bag. And it's in a beautiful white pebbled leather. It looks a little washed out right now because of the lighting, unfortunately. But um, it's a little dirty. There are like some dirt marks on there. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that right there, right? There you go. Um, I'm pretty sure I can clean it off. The interior is nice and clean. So this was a pretty cool find. I love that it gives me all of like those 80s vibes, kind of, with like the detail in it. And it's just gorgeous. I also love that there are two zipper pockets on the side that you can just open and close to get into the bag without like opening it up in the middle. Um, the interior has a zipper pocket, another open pocket, and then two pockets at the bottom. So lots of nice storage. And this bag was $14.99. And I love Pour La Victoire bags so much, you guys. Um, they make, I don't know if they make clothing, but I know for sure they make shoes. Their shoes are also really great. Um, yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. So there's, that's, the, that's the first thing I have there. Um, I want to show you guys all the things that I got first and when we were at this same thrift store. Um, the first, the next thing I have, I got this really cool, uh, what is it called? Lily pad plate. There were actually two of them that I purchased the other one when I was getting out of the car and I was carrying my bags. I actually accidentally dropped this bag on the floor. The other one like broke in half. So it's actually right here. I wasn't originally going to show you guys, but you know what? I'm going to be transparent. <laughs> and I lived like the I never break things in the store, knock on wood, if there's any wood to knock on, um, but I always, like, not always, but whenever I break anything, it's always when I'm getting it out of the car. I don't know, like, it's drop things on the floor. So, um, this is actually made of mela melamine, so, I don't know, normally these things aren't supposed to break if you drop them, because they're plastic, but I, like, these are really cool feeling, like, they feel like ceramic. Um, which is why I have, like, the, the other two that I have are, like, flower-shaped. Uh, I'm so sad that this one broke, though, because these were so pretty. They were $3, too, but, um, c'est la vie. You can't dwell on it. It's happened. So, unfortunately, that one broke. Um, but luckily, I still have the other one. So, um, the next thing I have here is this beautiful hobo wallet. I've actually found this style in the past and I don't remember what color it was. It was either black or purple, I think. Um, I love it so much. It's a great clutch. You can use it as a wallet. Uh, when you open it right here, there's a zipper pocket and then all the card slots are there. It's kind of hard to see because the lining kind of just like blends all together, but it has um, six card slots and then a bill, uh, a bill pocket right there and another bill pocket right there down below it and then like the zipper pocket. And then the other side has a, this is a clear ID thing, and then another just open pocket. And these are just so great because you can just put your phone in there so easily. And then underneath it actually has this large zipper, and this actually runs through like the whole interior of the wallet. And there's the price tag, it was $7.99, which I think is an amazing deal on this because these wallets are over $100 when you buy them at the store and they are just amazing. I know anyone that has or has had a, a hobo wallet, like, love them so much. Um, and yeah, they're just really, really amazing wallets. The leathers they use are so beautiful, and I love this kind of, like, army green color. This color is definitely going to be in this year. I, like, I have a definite feeling over it. Um, like, recently everything has been green, so it's just really cool. I know the color of the year is, like, a like a pinky, like, is it like salmon? I don't even know. But I feel like this is the real color of the year. <laughs> don't get mad because I said that. <laughs> Some people are like, no, it's not. But, um, I don't know. I just really like green. So I just want it, like, in my head, it's the color of the year because I, I just really like it. So there's that. Uh, up next. Oh, I have, like, some random stuff in here to show you guys. Okay, first of all, Zach is gonna be so happy because he's the only one that doesn't have like a Harry Potter thing like this. I, well, Lizo doesn't have one, but he has like a Harry Potter little jacket that he is absolutely obsessed with and always wants to wear. Uh, but Zachary, Zachary Binks, as I like to call him, got you a Harry Potter robe. Yay! So Zach is ready to go to Hogwarts. Um, 
and I am very excited about this. I can't wait for him to come home from school because it's going to be so cute. I'm definitely going to film it in the vlog. I'm going to put it in the vlog because it's going to be such an adorable moment. It was only $4.50. Amazing. These things are pretty pricey. Um, this isn't like the most, like I know like they come in like different quality, um, but I, I feel like, I don't know how much this one costs. I think this is actually from, this is from Target. So anyway, still amazing. A great price. $5. Totally. Anytime. Uh, the next thing I have here, okay, so now, okay, I've been trying to find these for the children. Um, I actually got one of these before. I gave it to Zach, and he's obsessed. Um, I got one for Eliza, that is a uh, clownfish, looks like Nemo, obsessed. Now I got another shark, this one's gonna go to Kate, so now they can all have matching, like, fish-themed blankets. These are so cute, like, it looks like the shark is literally eating them, so I'm gonna put this in the wash. Oh, I should wash it before they get here from school. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, okay, so next thing I have in this bag, and these are definitely going to go off the shop if anyone's interested in them, and these are size, I think they're size 8. Hadrian, why can you not see the size? Style number, model, I think they're size 8. Anyway. There are these beautiful Madewell shoes. Like, they're literally, like, like new. Like, there's barely any wear at all on the bottom of them. And, like, the uppers are, like, in fantastic shape. Uh, I'm gonna see if Mom can fit in them, so then I'll know for sure if, this is, if they're her size. Um, I don't know if she would wear these, so I don't think she'll want to keep them, but we'll see. Mom can surprise us. Normally, she doesn't like these kinds of um things like she doesn't like the backs of these like she likes backless shoes like if it was just like this she would love it but because it has this thing like i don't think she likes like those things to tie around her ankle so we'll see but these were an amazing deal at ten dollars i don't even know why i'm telling you <laughs> my mom hates these kind of shoes. Like, you guys don't care <laughs> comment down below if you guys also hate those kinds of things <laughs> but um okay so that is what I found at the first store that I went to with Nika. Then after that one, we made our way down the street to another store where I found a couple more really exciting things. Um, this one is my favorite thing that I found. Oh, and if you guys um, watched or follow me on Instagram in my stories, actually that's the store that we went to where I found those giant clown shoes that I thought were so cool I wanted to use them like having like a to have like a little home decor moment But then I was like no, they're $50, but they were so cool They're all leather giant clown shoes, and I just thought that was so unique and so interesting and Yeah, so I don't know. I'll always have the story in my heart and numerous photos of it um, but I don't know. <laughs> and I, I got, it was so cute though. A couple of you guys actually messaged me saying how expensive they actually run on eBay. And I was like, oh my gosh, they go for over a hundred dollars. So like that $50 deal at the store was pretty good. But I was like, I wouldn't want to resell them. I just want to use them for home decor, but I don't want to spend $50 on clown shoes. Anyway, that being said, I did find this beautiful gem. This is so cool. First of all, it kind of looks like, if you guys know the game is Zelda, and like you get like the, that's like the thing that, I don't know, right? Like, that's like the, the Zelda insignia thing, right? Like the triangle. Anyway, um, the brand of this is called Orepers. It's like etched in the bottom. Uh, this one was $15, but I Googled this guy uh, online, and these go for upwards of $100, um, so I am not going to resell it, I just thought that this was just, like, a really gorgeous piece, it's made of crystal, I want to put it on, like, the coffee table and, like, put some candies or something inside, I think it'll be, like, totally fantastic, I just really like the shape of it, like, I don't know, triangles are just, like, a, I don't know, it's really cool, it's very unique, I've never seen anything like this before and I was really excited to add it into like my home decor uh, a repertoire and yeah let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff because if, if you guys do if like I find stuff like this like I'll put it up in the shop um, I'm, okay so I'm, this year let me just give you a little story <laughs> this year with like the pop like with how popular um, Marie Kondoing has become um, 
I'm going to take it upon myself to try and Marie Kondo like the house a little bit, and which I have been wanting to do. Uh, and I'm going to put a lot of home decor stuff up in the shop as well because I I really just like want to change up like the style of the house more often, and I can't do that if I have all these things, right? So um, I'm going to like up my game like with the house and in the shop. So I'm going to be like a lot of you guys have been saying that you want more home decor stuff in the shop and I have I am going to oblige. I've actually put a couple things in there and it's so cool that you guys have actually really liked them and bought a couple of the pieces. So thank you for that. Um so I'm going to be trying really hard to get even more stuff into the shop. I've been working really hard recently um uh, listing like handbags and stuff and I actually got a lot of stuff up in the shop. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. Again, Shameless promotion, I'm sorry about that, but this was so cool, and I was very excited. I'm going to stop talking about it, because I know sometimes I, I dwell too much on one thing. Um, the next thing I have here is this beautiful fossil tote, and I didn't even know it was fossil. I was just like, whoa, studs, and I love studs on bags. I think they're so cool, and I've never, like, known fossil to do anything like this, so this is a, this is a nice little treat. Uh, so it has the studs on the front, on the back there's a pocket, and then it says like fossil right there. And yeah, it's just a nice black leather tote bag. Um, great for every day, work, school, travel, you name it, fossil's got your back with this tote. <laughs> Tuts. That's enough bad puns, Adrian. Calm down. The next thing I have, um, this is the last item that I have to share with you guys. And this guy is pretty cool. Um... Oh my gosh, my nose is like, is it weird like during the winter when you get like allergies? Like, but I feel like I, I just have allergies all year round. So I'm, there's like something, like I was trying out a strap on the bag, but um, I wanted to show you guys how I found it. So here it is. This is a beautiful, this is actually a Michael Kors collection bag. So it's not Michael by Michael Kors, it's Michael Kors collection, uh, the which... This is the, like the more expensive version of the Michael Kors bags where he has like more, um, he has like different styles. I actually really like the style of this bag. I think it's super cool. I love that you can um, tuck it in like how it was before and like hide the, the um, D-rings for the long strap. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a long strap, but you can add like any crossbody strap to this and it'll look great because the color of the bag itself is so neutral, but it's just like a smooth like taupe leather. It just needs a bit of a cleaning. Um, some of the, um, it was fused with like lining right here and some of it's like kind of like coming off. So I'll, I'm just going to fix it up and um, re-glue it back on then it's gonna look fantastic. But the interior of the bag is really cute. Right there, there's a pocket right there. And then it's just nice and roomy. And what's cool is that this actually opens up and then there's like a secret kind of pocket in the inside, which you wouldn't think was actually there, which I think is a really cool touch. And yeah, so this guy was $24.99. Oh, and the fossil, I believe, was $15. Forgot to tell you guys the price on that one. Um, oh, I think it was $20. Actually, let me look. <sighs> How good was your memory, Hadrian? Ah, $15. I was right the first time. $15. And, yeah, so, Michael Kors, amazing. Again, Nika, it was such a pleasure <laughs> hanging out with you. Like, literally, it was so much fun. And I can't wait for our all of our future videos. Um, and we're going to have, like... I have found a new friend in Nika, so thank you Nika so much for such an amazing day and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well and if you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Say hi down below in the comments. Um, and I know like a lot of you guys have been saying like to go thrifting with other people. I think more of that is going to be happening. I have a couple more things in the works down the pipeline and can't wait to share it with you guys. Share it with you guys. I can't even talk anymore. But could I, could I ever have talked in the past, in the future? I don't know. I'm going nuts. Love you guys. See you guys later. Adios. All right, now we are in the back looking at the handbags. We have like this super fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah. It's kind of cute still though, huh? $20. I'm gonna put that back. 
where it was. There. It has like glitter on 